Yo, know, what's going on everybody? This is your boy Ricky He. If you've been liking my live streams, my short videos, my videos, and please give me one thing. Please subscribe button, ring the bell, turn the notifications on. Kapasa. And, um, let's see, what else? What else? I will be trying to put some, do some short videos again. I have not been doing that in a while. Give me, give me, give me time. May even do a live stream on short on the shorts. So here we go. What I want to tell you about is, I told you I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some stuff like uh, paranormal stuff a little bit on here. So what I want to be talking about is something got me fascinated. All right, you know all this stuff about these mythical creatures. Uh, Bigfoot, um, Loch Ness Monster, and all them. I want to talk, talk about one individual that struck a chord with me that I, that I was reading, watching earlier from Tape to, tape to Library or whatever you want to call them. Tape, tape of Library. Channel, check them out and everything. I want to talk about Sam the Sand send down clown now it begins like this starts off with two little girls oh, no no so, sorry y'all i meant to see two kids a boy and a girl walking off in two forests not in the forest but you know in the woods and stuff there's a bridge they go over it they saw a glove they saw some creepy individual right in front of them. But before this gets interesting, I want to take it back to what happened to um, the girl's dad. Yeah, they're not brother and sister. They're just friends. All right, what happened was he saw something when he was, um, what I can understand is he saw a UFO. I think it. I think it goes along with where he was in the waves and all that stuff, trying to get it away from the waves and stuff. But he saw something in the sky. It was a UFO. So you tell me now. We're going to get to this story. I don't know if there's any connection with the waves where he's in the white water or whatnot. But anywho, what got me fascinated on this is because. The two, the two kids were walking. They saw a clown. He had a microphone in his hand. Well, what was so crazy is they couldn't see him at first. The next thing you know it, like he was in the water, in the water, then he came out of the water, had his back turned in front of him. They knew something was off, so they decided to go back and then they saw two guys over there working on the fence. Remind you, it was back in 1973. So, what happened afterwards is they went over there, was going to talk to him, then he turned around, was following him. They got a good look at him because he was, had a microphone, he had three fingers. Three, on, on each hand, three toes. All right. Now, they said it could be a dude in a mask. It could be um, a ghost, or it could be an alien. This is actual off of factual events. Factual events. What I can understand. So. I might not be explaining it a lot, but I just want to, uh, to say the best way I can. They talk, He started uh, talking on there. Hello. How are you? Oh, no, 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 not that. He said, hello. Are you there? He had brought out a microphone and all that. And then he took him over to his cabin that he's been staying at. Um, I think it was a spaceship. 
to be an honest with you. So they followed him all the way to his cabin. Then he was talking to him and all this and that. There's a fireplace and all that in the area. But like I said, again, I believe he was an alien. He wasn't human. I know some people are thinking he was, but come on, bruh. That was an alien. But that, that's, that's been told and all that. It's an interesting story. There's more to it. There's an area in that cabin and all that where it's cold and everything. But when they went home and everything, and then next thing you know it, they come back later on. It was uh, the dad and that boy that was with that girl. Um, it was gone. So yeah, that's what got me interested. Yes, he was. He had a face like a like a clown. But let's get real to you for a minute. It was a gut. It was an alien. Aliens know how to disguise themselves, apparently. So they figured that we all look like clowns. I guess. I'm assuming. <laughs> I don't know. Unless there are our guardian angels or something like that. A case of watchful eye on us. That's something to be talking about. Look up Sam the Down the Sam Down Clown. And you'll see what I'm talking about. But be yeah. I just wanna get into it and tell a little bit of what I watched a little bit. I might not be telling all the details. I might be getting some of it wrong, but all in all, I'll I'll say this. 100% that's an alien trying to fool people but he was, wasn't trying to fool anybody because they asked him are you human no are you uh, a ghost not really but close he said he said, I'm not from this world. And there you go. It happened back in the 1970s, y'all. When that happened. And then, like I said, you, we saw the cabin. They saw the cabin and then went back and the cabin was gone. Like it didn't even exist. But it did. That's all I want to talk about. You let me know in the comments below what you think about this story. And all that good stuff. I just think it's really interesting. I wanted to put this out. What I read. I mean, what I watched. Very interesting. Makes you wonder. Are aliens coming out little by little? Wanting to greet with us or what? So, yeah, let me know in the comments below what your th opinions and thoughts are about this. You can actually look up Sam the Sandown Clown, and you'll see what I'm talking about. There's been history about that alien. It's all over social media. You'll have a good one, and I'll catch you on the next one. About all I'm going to talk about. Peace.